Welcome back, friends, and gather round. This is now we're here, and you're watching episode number 20 of Simply Walking Into Mordor. A very special welcome if this is your first time watching with us today. Uh, yeah, guys, this is episode 20. Now Glear has been through 20 episodes of questing, and we have come so far already, hitting our 24th level last episode, and I expect our 25th today. So, let's get right into it, guys. We're back here at the Aglaine camp outside Minas Ariol, the ominous ruins just to uh, just across the bridge there. And if you remember the end of last episode, we did just finish off killing lynxes for old mugwort here. It's so we've got two quests. Day, it, has. Uh, it has been a foul day, if I say so myself. Actually, no, I'm having a great day. I hope you guys are as well, uh, wherever you're watching. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's see what kind of things, rewards. There are really not that many good rewards from these quests around here. Might getting I a bit, a uh, I'm getting a bit over it. It's given us a quest to defeat wolves. We might wow, do that, might not. I haven't decided folk. yet. The goal of some folk indeed, and you're giving me terrible, terrible gear. Oh well, we'll just take the boots for the money, I guess. Alright, let's head in to Minas Ariol. And we are going to deal with some tough goblins. These guys are all signature level, but that should be no trouble for us. We're actually going to kill this guy by himself because I forgot to switch into our AOE stance, as I regularly do. Our new sword should definitely help us here. As you can see, we're cutting through these signatures very quickly and bringing him down there with a merciful strike. All right, let's switch into our air of effect mode. As you can see, we're almost level 25. Did we get... We did get the Statue of Maiden from the first uh, goblin we found. Very handy indeed. All right. Let us use Battle Frenzy to get our big skills up. And a Raging Blade with our sword doing heaps of damage there to these signature enemies. All right. Keeping up the pressure. Losing a bit of health. That's to be expected. These guys are signature level. They're a bit uh, more powerful than the enemies we normally fight. So we're going to have to be a bit careful in this camp here. That's all right. We can... Uh, watch ourselves, not fight too often, and keep ourselves healed up. So I think we'll just avoid that one there. Let's fight this uh, ridge fighter. Maybe this ridge fighter. There we go. Or maybe both of them at once. Alrighty then. Yes, we didn't have a choice. Bring in a raging blade there. Get the damage going. Let's use fight on and also brace and attack. Keep us healed up. I don't think our brace and attack went off then. Oh, this could be, this could be an issue. Racing attack, quick, 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 quick. Okay, good save. Okay, we, we've got through quick bit, I think. Man, these goblins are tough. Our uh, armor is not very strong, so we're taking a bit of damage, and we also can't get rid of our bleeds and poisons and things like that. So these uh, goblins are really uh, taking their toll on us. Switch back to our single target. I think that will be... Uh, better for us in the long run. We can deal with these goblins better one-on-one -on -one anyway because they are quite powerful and they do a decent amount of damage to us so I don't really want to put us in heaps of peril by fighting them uh, two or three on one even though that is where champions are meant to excel. And I do, yeah, I promise guys we will be getting more into the, um, lots and lots of damage to multiple enemies but we don't quite have the capability just yet to do that. Looks like we're just going to have to sit here and wait for our health to regenerate, which is pretty boring indeed. So maybe let's look at our next stat on our character sheet while just we wait for our health to regenerate. So we have our avoidance stats next. These are obviously the next set of stats in our defenses. Uh, and the avoidance stats are mainly for tanks, but everyone really needs to put a little bit of effort into them. The first of the avoidance stats is block, and we cannot block non-applicable. You do gain block from, I believe, might, yes, might, and I was going to say vitality, but don't think so, just might. So we gain block rating from might, and I think we would have, yeah, about 612 block if we did have a shield on, but we do not, and of course, champions can't even equip shields. What they can do 
is use this blue line and that will let them block with a two-handed weapon so if we were to tank we would tank in blue line and then we could have uh, block rating unlocked when we have our two-handed weapon equipped but our health is regened and we can fight our next goblin we have to be a bit careful going through this particular camp built up a lot of fervor there and brought him almost to death without the monster strike. Getting our tabards and scabbards quickly, we can fight another one straight off the bat. That last one didn't do very much damage to us. I think we were just trying to recover there from our encounter with the double fights at once. Even these single fights you can see are kind of taking their toll on us. We're going to go to the left here, because we are going to look for Nishruk, who is the leader of the goblins here in this camp. He is up there in that green, ominous little place up there, which will be a challenge to fight our way up into. So, looking at some challenging combat here, guys, these goblins are proving to be difficult enemies. You can see why Leia Fuena was a bit uh, anxious about going this way. We've completed Goblin Slayer. That's very handy for us. We've gotten 500 reputation with the Eglane, who are the uh, reputation faction in the Lone Lands. Let's fight this Ridge Racer. We're going to use Bracing Attack as soon as we can. Give us a bit of extra help. And then we'll continue to build up our fervor. Something that we should look into uh, at some point, probably not in the, the very close future, is actually getting the availability to use Battle Frenzy in our red line. Because you see, Battle Frenzy is a yellow trait. But you can, if you spend two points, spend it in yellow. We do want to get down to these really uh, handy skills down here. Lots of extra critical damage, extra critical chance. We want all of that so we can crit as often as possible. And also Ferocious Strikes, a great skill. Heaps of good single target skills down here for us to gain. Alrighty. Okay. We've regained enough health to continue on our fight. Let's get this Ridge Racer. We've got a fight uh, through here, which could be a challenge indeed. Alrighty then, this Ridge Racer, Ridge Fighter, coming down, giving us 12 reputation just for defeating him. We're going to sneak around the outside here, a bit of sneaky sneaky action. We have, our, we have a bleed and a poison on us, the poison's gone, the bleed remains, doing 17 damage to us every single time it ticks. Alright, now we've got a strong arm, these strong arms, not as strong as they claim. Uh, although that was pretty damage, that was a piece around for one state. These guys, not as powerful as the melee fighters because they are ranged, uh, or they're meant to be at least. But we are making sure we fight them up close and personal. Let's use Fight On. Give us a bit of healing as we go into this battle with this bridge fighter. As you can see here, the enemy is a bit higher level than us, providing a bit of extra challenge. And it's a bit. I think it's good. We're not uh, just cakewalking through all these quests here. This is a, a little bit of a challenge, I think. Oh, it is, it is rated solo. Uh, I think this quest used to be rated as a small fellowship quest, uh, advising that you take three people, but we are definitely strong enough to get there. We just have to be a bit cautious. We've got to fight our way up through this little camp here, and then into where Nishra himself dwells. Okay, up we go. We're going to try and avoid this bridge fighter if we can. And take on this fire thrower by himself. Alright, he's throwing the fire down. We're going to get out of that. We don't want to do that. And giving us full fervor. The Morse Strike. He's just standing in that fire and it's just out of our range a little bit. Mercer Strike finish him off. The best way to interrupt someone is to kill them. Okay. Got some strong arms up on the platforms up there. Don't want to mess with them. I think we're going to have to deal with both of these at once. Let's switch back into our AoE mode. We can be prepared. Got a bit of dread on us at the moment. As you can see here, we've got plus two dread because we're in the presence of such evil. And this dread, we can see here, has reduced our maximum health by 10%, reduced our healing received by 2%, increased our damage received by 2%, and reduced our damage dealt by 5%, which is quite debilitating and can actually be 
cause a lot of deaths. Uh, Dread being present in all of the places of evil in Middle Earth. So something we'll have to deal with. You can offset it with staff for hope. And jewelers can make tokens that provide a temporary bonus. We might make ourselves some of them to off put this dread debuff. We dealt with those orcs, uh, sorry, goblins, very decently. And I think initial is right here. Okay, we're going to switch back to single target. Bit of switchy switchy going on here. We're going to head into this fire thrower. Use our bracing attack. Get out of that fire as quickly as possible. And then deal with this guy. Swiftness to our blade. This sword of savagery. It is very powerful. We unboxed it last episode. We missed it. And just to look at these stats again. 24.8 DPS. And a bunch of might, grit, and physical mastery. Which of course all will contribute increasing the amount of damage that we deal okay we're going to make sure that we're on full health for this fight he is just a signature but we do want to make sure that we get him down ah whatever let's run in there with uh, fight on get off a wild attack build up some fervor build ourselves up to a brutal strike he's going to heal himself looks like but we've offset that already he's just wasted a bunch of time where he could have been doing damage to us by trying to heal himself and let's see if we can finish off with a first strike there we go he's down and we have completed our quest to find and defeat nishra but that is not all that we have to do here in these ruins of minas Ariel. this pass through hopefully we can get out here without finding any more or uh, any more goblins i keep calling them orcs they are goblins although in the books Funnily enough, Tolkien does not draw a distinction between the two. He just calls, like, pretty much interchangeable to use the term to refer to the same sorts of enemies. So, Goblin or kind of the same thing, although Lotro has definitely made a distinction and called the smaller ones goblins, which is a common distinction, I guess, in fantasy games. Okay. We're going to have to go down there, so we're going to find our way down to where the spiders dwell. Would be quite dangerous for us, but what is life without a bit of danger, hey? So let's jump down this little cliff, and down here we can find the Glane treasures, and also the bodies of the fallen Glane uh, who are still down here in webs. So there's, there's an Glane corpse. We're going to have to burn that uh, so that they're not desecrated. Alright, we also have to slay spiders down here and collect their eyes, and also there's heaps of treasures behind here, so let's deal with these. These guys are also signature level beasts, so we're going to have to be still remain on guard. This is a bit of a difficult area of the Lone Lands. The enemies are very able to end you quickly. Should be right. Okay. Down a strike. See if we can get a merciful strike off before he does his induction. There we go. Okay. We've got ourselves Crimson and Inky more web eyes. I have four of each. I'm going to quickly grab a drink. Ah. Very satisfying. Okay. I'm going to run off to the south here. And deal with all these kind of a crossroads there but we'll make our way around eventually another more web here to deal with let's grab him let's see if we can use let's use wrath of the firstborn give us a bit of extra damage well, they've got to fix that animation <laughs> no sound at all okay also didn't use it very effectively because we were evaded on our remorse strike not very helpful at all but the Merciful Strike did its job. And we're on to the next one. Okay. Here is a Vile more web. Let's bring him down. Guys, while we're bringing down these enemies, it took quite a while to kill. Well, let's uh, just talk about some plans I have for the channel. I am uh, planning to do some tutorial type videos for Lotro. Uh, some class specific ones, some overview videos. Um, and as I said a couple of episodes ago, I'm 
planning to do a epic quest playthrough that is just going to, the videos will just include uh, quests from the epic volumes uh, and they'll all be edited together so the whole story is kind of uh, interwoven and you can see it all uh, without any breaks which I think will be quite enjoyable the story is very well written but it does take a long time to do uh, and so I thought it would be nice to oh dear we, I think we've got ourselves into a bit of trouble here we've got three spiders on us we're going to have to deal with these quickly indeed and do as much damage as we can let's just back up a bit here looks like we got ourselves caught in the crossfire between a couple of different paths that they were controlling. I think, yep, that's two down. Okay, we're going to use Fight On to give us a bit of extra health, and we're also going to use Bracing Attack as soon as we have a converter for it. There we go. Bracing Attack, give us a bit of a heal, and now it's just a struggle really with power. Can we endure long enough? Yes, yes okay, we've got him. Okay, breathe easy again. Yeah, guys, as I was saying, I think it'd be quite enjoyable to watch, or at least I hope it is, uh, to watch the whole epic story without any breaks in it. So I'd um, I'd just do the epic story, and then if I needed to level up in between, I'd do that off camera, uh, so that you can experience the whole epic story uh, in one kind of flow. So let me, let me know what you guys think about those plans. I've got, yeah, the tutorials planned for different classes and different instances, of course, with these showcases as we go through. But I also want to do specific walkthroughs of different instances, uh, to kind of explain how the fights work and uh, how much fun they can be, especially some of the older stuff, because people don't seem to run them as much anymore, although the featured instance system really has revived a lot of those. We're just going to drink a power potion. Give us some power back so we can get back into the fight quicker. And then guys, also I don't I don't just want to restrict myself to Lord of the Rings Online. I do want to keep this series happening every day. Um, every day of the week. Uh, yeah, seven days a week, coming out with a new episode. And that way we this this venture to 115 won't just take years and years and years. It hopefully should be uh, yeah, relatively quick and enjoyable i'm i'm really enjoying playing this with you guys and i hope you guys are really enjoying watching it so yeah make sure you leave any feedback in those comments down below if you do have a suggestion about what other games um you'd like to see me play leave that in a comment down below as well i'm happy to take suggestions i have a couple of plans i don't want to reveal them just yet about which games i'm looking to play yeah, guys, any any sort of other games that you'd like me to play. I play uh, strategy games sometimes. I play lots of RPGs, obviously. Um, single player or multiplayer. And so, yeah, if you have any suggestions of that nature, make sure you leave them in the comments down below, and I'd be happy to read them and see what you guys are looking forward to. Um, and hopefully soon I can reveal some plans of what I am planning to do uh, in the near future with some other games in that sort of direction. Yes, guys, that whatever happens, that will not impact the scheduling of this series. There will always be, until at least we get 115, there'll always be at least a video a day. Uh, we'll just exactly one video a day, probably not more. Uh, a video a day of the quest of Nauglia, the High Elf Champion. We're just struggling through these spiders. Still got five more corpses to burn and seven more treasures to collect. And we will find them soon. They're all down here in these valleys. We've explored a couple of areas. There's two more to go. Lots of damage there with that remorse strike. Good hit. Nice. Got ourselves in a glane corpse there, being guarded by a vile more We're just gonna veer off to the right here and get these quickly first, because this is uh, back down to where we started, and so I just want to clear this space off. Oh dear, we've got ourselves in another find with three spiders. This could really be difficult. We need to fight on early, so we get all the healing we can out of that. Prolong our life, hopefully. All right, come on, get that first more web down. Use bracing attack. Get us some health there. Use a power potion. Give us some extra power. Man, these spiders. 
They like to attack in packs. If I was in my AoE mode, it would be super easy to bring these guys down. Or at least easier than this. We just have to deal with them one at a time. Probably waste that remorse to strike. Oh dear, we're really low and cannot do much about it. Just use a health potion there. Can we bring this guy down? Yeah, crits are helpful, crits are helpful. Can we get him down with this remorse strike? We don't have enough power. Oh no. Oh, there we go. What a well-timed crit. Okay. That was really tense there, guys. Um, those three spiders just kind of gang up on us at once. It's not kind at all. I think we might have all of the treasures and bodies in this part. Yep. And so we're just going to head off to the left here and get our... Let's get the rest of the treasures that we need up this way. And this Eglane corpse, one more to burn. We've got three more to find and three more treasures, and they should all be in this direction, just over here. And then we'll be quick to ride out of these ruins as fast as we can. These are dangerous places. But I think when we finish these quests, we will hit level 25, so it will all be worth it. And we will get uh, access to our 10th trait point, which is very exciting indeed. Our 10th trait point obviously getting us our next, uh, what are they called? The, down the side traits, they're passive traits, that's what they're called. Our next passive traits. All right, I think we've got out of the worst of it. These spiders are just normal level. So we're gonna hit our AOE mode. And then we're just gonna run in, grab a bunch of spiders, because these guys are not really to be feared. Not doing nearly as much damage to us as the bigger ones. We're just gonna grab them all and deal with them all at once. Okay, here we go. This is what we live for as a champion. Lots of little weak enemies. And then we're gonna hit a rend and then Raging Blades do a heap of damage. We've already brought one of them down and we'll see how many more we can bring down at the same time. Two more. And then we've got the last two of them down with that Blade Storm. There we go. Feels good. It feels good again to be in control and in the head, uh, in the lead with these uh, monsters taking on six at once it's just another day in the life of a champion another day in the life of now clear got our way out just there and our last glane treasure i think we're gonna have to fight these spiders so might as well make a party of it bring on bring it on bring it on spiders come at me let's see how many we can get i don't want them to all run off but i do want to fight a bunch of them. Okay, here we go. This should be something indeed. Got our Raging Blade there. Of course, all of our skills having enough targets to hit all of these enemies. So we should be doing a bunch of damage to all of them at once. Brought down, oh, six of them there at once. And then the last one just with our auto attack. There you go, guys. That is what champions excel at. That is why we play this game. It is so fun to play as a champion and deal with all those guys at once. All right. Let us hop on our horse. We've got all our treasures that we need. All of the corpses burnt. And we've even found all of our tabards and scabbards. And so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go off uh, hand in these quests. And that will finish up that uh, this quest bubble at Minas Ariel. We're going to just blast through these guys. We don't really want to deal with them again. We're just going to ride through them. Uh, if any of them wish to follow us, then they will be silly enough. If they're silly enough to do so, we will deal with them outside of the ruins, back at the, the Glane camp, but I don't think any of them will make it out. They'll give up following us for too long. This guy has been here the entire time we've been building this episode. Valquil. That's a fun name. All right. Right, Hanolf months, we've finished many of your quests. Thank you for the reputation. And yes, we've remembered them. And we've leveled up to 25. Yes! And this is very helpful because we got our 10th, our 10th our tenth trait point. We're going to definitely put that into more numbers of targets, getting us our next passive bonus, which is increasing the number of max stacks of the bleed of rend. As you know, bleed puts on a little rend. Uh, rend puts on a little bleed, sorry. Mixing up my words there. Oh, he's woken up. Valkyl of, of North Norgoth of Nargothrond. He has woken up. Uh, he's on his way. And also, this, this increases the initial damage, so we're definitely going to be using Rend a lot. That's very helpful. And we want another trait in this to 
to get Swift Strike to become Swift Blade, becoming an area of effect skill. There are so many good uh, traits down in this row that it's going to be tough to uh, make this point worthwhile. Nah, I'm just joking. We definitely will put a point into there next, and then we'll increase our Raging Blade damage. But then also, Ardent Rage is an incredibly good uh, trait as well. Four points, and you end up reducing this Battle Frenzy cooldown to 30 seconds, uh, and, it, and it just becomes a great skill. It already is a great skill, and we're just making it even better. So there's lots of great things to come with our area of effect traits, and our single target traits. Uh, we will unlock our next line, which also have a lot of great bonuses in it. We're going to get our last point into attack duration, getting our next passive bonus, which says that any strike skill decreases our attack duration, which is very helpful. Uh, in addition, critical hits generate additional points of fervor, and that uh, has these effects have a chance to be triggered per hit of a skill. So on every strike skill on a critical hit adds a fervor hip, uh, and on every hit this effect stacks up to five times, minus 3% attack duration. That's going to be great for us, going to get us dishing out a bunch of damage. We'll switch back to our area of effect mode. Alright, so we've leveled to 25, dealt with that, to... and we can move on, keep handing it out quests. Oh, we've increased our reputation with the Aglaine, we are now acquaintance standing with them. Alright, our greatest find. Me? Yes. Do you have a good piece of gear for us? Please. Please. Give us something. Oh, I think how much crit does our fate give us? 44 gives us you know, so it's like two and a half. Is that gonna be worth it? Two and a half? No, nope, that's not even better. Man, these quest rewards, seriously. Give us something worthwhile. This is right. intolerable. Are these any better? Come on. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing worthwhile. Right. Let's just get the thing that's worth the most, I guess. Sell it for some silver. He's given us a lot, new, a lot of new quests. This is what we'll be doing next episode. Uh, and there are some half orcs in a ruin called Nairost up to the north. And so we're going to accept all these quests, dealing with Snake, all of them, collecting relics, defeating half orcs. Uh, will you let me speak will... my piece? Uh, we, don't, we don't need this quest. That's a different quest, but we'll win. I'll not be ignored. And defeating the leader there, Hunter Birds. All right, Deputy Osman, he had a quest for us to hand I'm into sorry. him. Did what have you, you got? Have you got anything, anything worthwhile? Come on, don't be like all the rest. There you go. That is a great cloak. Much better than what we're wearing. We'll definitely use that. All right, have we gained any other pieces of gear while we've been on our travels? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right. Now, if you remember, we also have our Tabards and Scabbards quest to hand in. We're going to map back to the Forsaken Inn, and that will be the end of the episode after we hand in those quests. Look at that. We've already almost uh, got to halfway to 26, so we are definitely well on our way to 115. We're roaring through these levels. Before you know it, we'll be out of the Lone Lands and into Evendim, which is a bit prettier to look at. And the story there is quite good as well. All right. Oh, look at this. The Forsaken Inn. Very, very well populated at the moment. 23, 25. Some good folks around here. Very good. All right, Gadric. Give us another Scholar's Scroll Case. Give us some more experience and some more reputation. Thank you very much. We've completed our second level of the Tales of the Lone Lands. Uh, Tales of the Lonely Road. Giving us a second point of compassion. That's definitely very helpful. And some Lotro points. I'm sorry. All right. Did you need Another something? scroll case for me. And we finished our last run through of the bounty quests just in the nick of time for the end of this episode. So, guys, that is going to be all for today. Tomorrow, we will be going into uh, Nairost and then on to Ostguruth. And hopefully getting up to maybe level 27 even uh, next episode. I don't want to make too many big promises, but... That is all in the future. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you get updates every day uh, of this great story with now Glear the High Elf Champion on our way to level 115. And as you can see guys, level 25 already, we are making great progress towards that goal. So guys, as always, it has been a great pleasure uh, to play with you. And this is now Glee signing off. I'll see you tomorrow.